Hey guys, this is Chadley here at Metalworks. Uh, today we're going to be talking about a pair of Art Morrison chassis. Uh, these are the GT Sport chassis for a 1947 to 53 Chevy truck. And they come in two different versions in regards to the ride height. So we've got the low version, this chassis here, which an example of that would be here. And you've got your standard height, and an example of that would be here. So John's going to be going into more details and give you guys a little bit more explanation in each of the chassis. We have two chassis here today that are for the 47 to 53 Chevy or GMC pickup truck. Um, they're both by Art Morrison, uh, but they are different. So the option you would have for your for that truck is either a standard ride height version, which is which is here. This actually lowers the vehicle, gosh, a good a good three inches over stock, and and really it does look quite quite nice. Um, then we have what they call the low ride height. Now this this one's J basically two inches lower than the standard ride height. This is for the guy that really wants something super low to the ground, but in reality, you know, that goes down the parking lot just fine. Um, so I'm going to point out the difference between the two. So the basic framework of the chassis is the same between the standard ride height and the low ride height. The two differences are in the <clears throat> standard ride height, the uh, frame comes up here and is flat at the very top to accommodate a bed floor without modifying it. And that's in the 47 to 53 model where the bolt, the bed will bolt directly on here without modifying the floor. Now, as you look at the low right height version, this hoop has to come up to accommodate the axle going up higher into the frame. Therefore, you'll have to raise the bed floor about two inches in, in uh, both models to uh, accommodate that, that extra uh, height. And that effectively lowers the back of the truck. This is a, a spindle from Wellwood. It's called their Pro Spindle. This one happens to be the standard ride height. And you can see where the wheel is mounted here. In this chassis, this is the low ride height version, the Morrison chassis. You can see how much higher this is. So what that does is effectively moves this pin up to here and lets the car go down lower while maintaining good geometry on the suspension. When we talk about a chassis for the 47 and 53 truck, uh, one option would be to whether you want a standard ride height or a low ride height. I'd be able to show you an illustration like these that, that really just give you the dimensions of what the running board height would be to the ground versus the other version and explain the ins and outs of both. Um, matter of fact, for any of the chassis that are, that are in the GT Sport family, these drawings are available and sometimes they just help make a lot of sense uh, versus having someone explain it to you on the phone. This chassis, the, the low right height version, is actually one of ours that we ship out uh, completed with a motor, transmission, drive shaft, brakes are installed completely assembled, lubricated, uh, everything's torqued, ready to ship to a customer as a, as a direct bolt-on to put their body and, uh, and bed on and really uh, really get some uh, way ahead of the game here. Here's an accessory we put on a lot of the chassis. This is called an e-stop. It's an electronically activated emergency brake. And what it does is it pulls the, the brake cables, which go back to our, our internal shoes on our wheel of brake kit here. And this just eliminates having all the mechanical uh, cabling and foot pedal in the cab. You have a, a button to push, activates the brakes. Super, super, uh, super neat thing to do. Uh, we assembled four chassis this week. This is a 55 Chevy that we're building in house. It gets a thousand horsepower supercharged LS. It's got the IRS rear suspension, fuel tank. Uh, it's really down to putting the engine and transmission in it now uh, before we set the, the, uh, the body on. And then over here, we've got another Tri 5 Chevy. This is a 55. LS3 with a six-speed transmission. It's completely assembled uh, with the fuel tank. Uh, waiting for a drive shaft. It will be shipped with one of those. Uh, this one will go out as a drop ship to a customer. Uh, if you're interested in a chassis, whether it's a painted rolling chassis or a chassis with engine, wheels, tires, there's just a ton of different options. Be glad to talk to you on the phone. Uh, myself and Matt do all the uh, design and sales work here. Our experience of building the cars will certainly uh, help you make some selections in yours.